Hello everyone and welcome to One Teacher One Scientist chat room. Today we have a very special guest with us, Ruchira Mittal. She's the founding editor of Quill Club Writers. You know, you've mentored so many children across the country and have helped children publish so many books. I want to understand a few things from you. Uh, do you think children are born storytellers and all that they need is mentorship and some refinement in their thoughts? What is your take on it? Of course, Vishali. First of all, thank you so much for having me on your show. I have been watching your video clips and wishing I had a teacher like you to teach me science back in school. Thank They're you. really interesting and I'm sure they'll be snapped up by a lot of teachers because they make excellent uh, learning material. Very, very good work and I wish you the best for it. Thank you so um, much. And as far as your question goes, of course children are storytellers. Is there anybody who can tell a story better than a child? Ask any mother and you know that their imaginations run wild. If they have to make an excuse about something, if they have to spin a story about a demon under their bed or whatever it is, children are master storytellers. Absolutely. That is decided. And they have no, uh, they have no hesitation. They don't have the conditioning that older people have. So they tell stories from their heart and there's, there's nothing more authentic than a child storyteller. Yeah. So do you think a mentorship program is something that can really help bring their stories to life? So let me tell you about uh, this work and what happens uh, in it. Uh, so Quill Club Writers works with an advantage. So since we deal with the, wor with the world of writing, and writing fiction and fiction that is eventually published in books with an ISB number uh, out there for the world to read we work with the best yeah. so that is an advantage that we have teachers like you prepare children in schools we go and we test them and we pick out the children who have the capacity will desire passion to write so, so when we sit with our children in our sessions, they are already a notch higher than the regular child. With the, we are very, very careful of the children we pick to work with because this is serious work. The children that we work with write stories which are published for the open market. And there has to be a lot of credibility in the work that we do. Otherwise, if we were to sort of guide, uh, help them write the story. We do help them, but we don't help them write the story. That is the child's innate creativity and capability. All the, I mean, we, we have, uh, I think it's safe to say, we must have processed uh, at least a lakh papers so far from all over the country. And uh, it's so difficult to pick but uh, because the, you know the ideas that children come up with are brilliant they're fantastic and they make you sit back and wonder where did this come from wow. or what have they thought of but uh, because of the nature of our work we look for straight english we are also doing work in hindi we have published work in hindi also but uh, for the main work of quill club writers which is stories in fiction and in english language so we look for straight English. So we have two layers of testing. In the first layer of testing, we look for straight language. And in the second layer of testing, we look for fiction pulling skills. Okay. And then we meet the child. Do you think um, children, when once their books get published, their attitude towards learning changes, their attitude towards the world changes after they become published oh. writers in their school time? Completely, completely. One, they have, uh, we have seen that students who have been to our workshops and who work with us on structuring a story become changed people. And they go back to their classes empowered with this capacity to structure their thought. And it helps them in every field, whether they're doing geography, history, science, whatever they're doing. And so many of our students have then won the the what is the, the best student award, and they've topped, and their results have become better. That yeah, is one aspect. So the attitude kind of improves. It helps in attitude building. Yes, 
because for 10 days they are sitting with us and they are concentrating on something and they're creating a product the pride is so much yeah there is so much ownership in work and then you know vishali these books are also supplementary readers in the school mm-hmm. so the child is walking around like a hero yeah. because everybody has read his or her story yeah people st- children stop them in the corridors to say that you know bhaiya i loved your story but could the end have been different or didi i read your story five times and they ask for autographs so that's that's something wonderful then also we teach the child that to be an author is a very special thing how many people get the chance yeah. so they have to then wear that mantle yeah which means we tell them that your language has to be a certain way please don't use short forms when you address your emails you have to be the dear sir ma'am thank you so we tell them that now you're an author you're a special person and that is how your entire demeanor should be and they are so proud so yeah, it's somewhere it's, it's do, you think, do you think somewhere mentorship is a very powerful methodology that can be adopted in schools not just in writing but in various other aspects it yeah. is it is um a mentor is and if the minute the mentor is able to win the respect of the mentee then mm. the deed is done that is all that's required because the child is actually in that box yeah. and whatever his box is and he needs somebody from outside to give him a hand and pull him out yeah. so whatever subject it is if a mentor steps in it it can really go places yeah. also mentorship is uh, with fewer children which is the ideal way to teach actually yeah. uh, instead of having a crowded class Absolutely. a lot of good schools are doing it but mentorship is more one on one fewer children and one person they um, if you are a responsible mentor you can actually turn the life around of a child subject love for a subject Yeah. everything yeah. and they write for you and i to read which mm. is something very unusual because most children are writing children's stories or you expect them to write self tales but when you do this with them you realize how much they see and how much they absorb and how much they are able to then translate into words yeah. so uh, they are actually uh, seeded with this yeah. and the ones who write and they can be taught also of course mm. they can be taught if they are put to the paces they can be taught if they have the basic desire to do so and language skill they can be taught but otherwise it is safe to say that children are marvelous they have they come with you can mold them into anything that you think is uh, you know in, exciting them or interesting them so somewhere so we have to we have to make sure that uh, we are helping them preserve their magic and wonder yes we should yes we should try to preserve that we always tell our principals that no child complains of a stomach ache or a toothache when they come to our sessions or i think probably to any session which is outside a classroom everything changes uh, also vishali we treat them as equals with yeah. all the protocol and respect maintained we don't talk down to them at all In fact we are even known to call them Mr Mr Bansal yeah yeah or miss they this sort of you know fill up with this pride and sense of accomplishment and then they strive to live up to it so, so uh, it, when it, their, it, their social and emotional learning also must be getting strengthened with something like this yes with so, but writing a story is very cathartic Mm-hmm. So a session can have tears, it can have laughter, it can have sadness, it can have depression because no story is coming out. All sorts of things. It's a comprehensive learning program. But uh, to answer your question, yes, children should be allowed uh, some sort of an elasticity in their schedule or some difference in their environment to get the best out of them. It's it's the most important thing. Yeah. Chalo. Thank you so much, Richarda. It was so nice talking to you and I hope we keep getting more books from you and keep reading them.